I'm Chuck Cease. We're on ESUWarriors.com and we're talking to East Stroudsburg University football coach Denny Douts. Coach, one of the hottest days of the summer. This is your uh, first official scrimmage of the camp season. So uh, how's the team looking right now? Well, we're, we're progressing uh, in the right direction at the right speed. And, and we had a good scrimmage today. We got a little uh, heat right here. We've been in camp uh, for almost a week. Uh, that's that's uh, great because we've had some mild weather. It's about time we get accustomed to some heat because if we have to play in it, we might as well be acclimated to it. And this certainly this kind of a day gives us that opportunity. Now we're about two weeks away from the season opener on September 5th against American International. How close are you to about two weeks away from knowing what the final squad's going to look like? Well, we have a pretty good idea. I mean, if you wanted to cut today, uh, we would cut down probably within about one or two of where we should be in, in dealing with that. We had a good scrimmage today that we had everyone participate. Everyone has been evaluated every day on video as well as in person. So we have a pretty good idea of where our people are at this time. Give me an idea of some of the guys that are really opening your eyes in camp, maybe some guys that you didn't expect to have such a good impression on you. Well, there's, there's a wide receiver, but a, Tommy House down in Virginia. Uh, he is, he's catching everything in sight right now. We knew he was a pretty good wide receiver. We knew he would develop. And, you know, that kid by the name of Bird, he's a, he's a big wide receiver, about 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 uh, decent speed. And he's having a, a good camp right now. Uh, I think the veterans that came back, the veterans that came back have improved in the the last year. They're, they're stronger, they're faster. Uh, along with that, uh, they have some experience and still have youth too, so they're going to be around for a while. Talking about that youth a little bit, last year you started a lot of young players, especially on defense. How has that transformed into this year's camp, and how have those kids made strides to help the Warriors this year? Well, uh, last year they, they were lucky they were shaving once a week. I mean, they, they didn't know uh, red from green mm -hmm. in dealing with that. And as the season progressed, they, they started to put uh, two and two together to get more and have that understanding of what it takes to be a Division two football player in the PSAC, in particular the East, dealing with what you got to do on a Saturday afternoon. And they, they progressed through the season, they finished strong in, in the season, they took that uh, idea into the offseason, we had kids work uh, on the back sides of the offseason in the weight room, and also our biometric program, had a good spring practice with them. Along with that, uh, they uh, got themselves in great shape, had a great run last night, after our third practice yesterday, and uh, they're in great shape, and they're working towards to get better. They're, they're kind of fine-tuning. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, you know taking the log and trying to, to sculpture it down into something that might look like a player. There are players now. Now we got to get the sandpaper out there, get some of the rough edges. In there, so. Preseason poll came out. The Warriors selected fifth by the coaches in the Pennsylvania State Athletic Conference last year. You finished third. Does that mean that you think people may be overlooking what the Warriors have in store for them this year? Well, I, I think, you know, there are some good teams in the PSAC, and we probably deserve to be that at this particular time. Every team that finished above us was either tied for us for third or finished first or second in, in that. And in the PSAC, I mean, come on, man. it's not a free lunch. you got to earn everything you got. And in, in doing that, our guys got to go out and show them that they belong in a higher ranking. And I think we have that type of capability. Want to come out and see the Warriors preseason? They'll be scrimmaging again a couple of times before the season opener. So get out to Isla Martin Stadium and watch the Warriors. And of course, right here on Thursday night, under the lights against American International College out of the Northeast 10. They're a playoff team from last year, Coach. So that's not going to be any kind of a cakewalk for your opener. Well, they, they, they've received some uh, votes on the national level. They ranked in the national thing. I think four or five teams that we're playing right now, depending upon what poll you look at have uh, received votes for national rankings. I think two truck is one of the things that kind of is an interest to all of us. For the 38th year, uh, this Saturday, we have breakfast with Warriors. We have all the little uh, gritters from around Monroe County that come in and they uh, team up with uh, some of the uh, big gritters in the, for the Warriors. And we have breakfast and we uh, have, bring them to the field and have a punt passing kick contest with them. And then uh, they go through our warm ups with us and then we scrimmage. And after, we'll have some popsicles and pictures with them, too. Nice. So that's always a good thing, too. Excellent. Coach, thanks for a couple of minutes. Best of luck as camp continues. Appreciate it. Good talking, Chuck. Season opener again September 5th here at Eiler Martin Stadium. Make sure you're here. And you can get more online at ESUWarriors.com.